Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 24. Compose fractions greater than 1 into various forms. Now these forms today will be composing fractions from improper to mixed fractions. Take a look at the problem I have written here. Read it out loud. What does it say? 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Now what does this problem say to you? It should say 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Now what does this problem say to you? This problem should say to you 4 divided by 2 equals 2. See, if you looked at this problem and you said this is 4 halves, Yes, that is correct. As a fraction, it's read as four halves. But this line in the middle, it is a division line. So all this time we've been working on fractions, and you have been saying, well, this number here is half. Yes, that's correct. But you're also saying that one divided by two is half. See, if you take one object and you divide it into two, well, each piece is a half. So I want you to take a look if you had this problem right here and you read it as division. 26 divided by 5. Well, you could think of it like this. 26 divided by 5 and you could solve it. You could do long division. Now when we look at it as a fraction, what's happening is you're counting all the fifths and seeing how many of these fifths fit into 26. So you could decompose it like this. Well, there's five fifths, and then there's another five fifths. So far, that's 10. And then there's another five fifths, so that's 15 fifths. And another five fifths, and another five fifths. How many is that so far? 25 fifths. And you know what? There's also a little bit extra. One fifth extra. Now this is a one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Right? Each five, each five fifths is a whole. So that is, so far, five of them. But don't forget, there was this little guy left over for another one fifth. So five... Uh, 26 divided by 5, it's 5 and a fifth. Or in my class set, when we were looking at it, it's kind of like 5 remainder 1. F 5 with 1 left over. And that 1 left over is out of fifth. If it was a cake, and I said there's one more piece left, well, there's one more piece out of all the fifths. Each, each cake or pizza was cut into fifths. There's one left out of the five pieces. So... We're going to be working on this, and I want you to decompose it kind of like um, we're doing here today, but I want you to skip this part along the middle. So, on your work, you'll see that they have decomposed 11 divided by 3, or 11 thirds, into 9 thirds, that's 3 thirds, 3 thirds, and 3 thirds, and the two more thirds, totaling 11, 9, 10, 11, right? I want you to skip that step and go right to this part here. All right? So when I see B, 13, divided by 4, I want you really to divide 4 into 13. I want you to think, how many 4s go into 13? Well, 3 make 12. So you're going to change this into 3 and... Now how much is left over? One. There's one left over out of the fourths. And I got that four from the denominator. I got that four from the divisor. This one left over would be your top fraction. And the remainder one is out of the four possible fourths that it could have been in. So total, you have three and a fourth. And you would show that on your number line, 
by hopping three and then going a fourth more. And you would have to label that you have fourths here. So this is three and this is one fourth. Let's try that again on C. So on C we have 16 divided by 5. So 16 is being divided by 5. 5 goes into 16 three times, making 15. So I'm going to say my answer is 3 plus, now how much is left over? Well, if you subtract, you get 1 left over. But that 1 is out of 5. Remember, this 1 remainder is out of the fact that we had fifths. There's one of the fifths left over for a total of three and a fifth. So on your number line, you'd have to hop three, and then you'd have to have fifths, and you would also have to hop an extra fifth. Okay? Now you're going to do that more time, or two more times, with actually doing the fraction, uh, the number line. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple number lines here. Okay, I'm really only going to do B, which indicates that I have 13 halves, or 13 divided by 2. So think of 13 divided by 2. 2 goes into 13 6 times, making 12, leaving me with 1. So what I have here is I have 6 holes, and I also have 1 remainder out of 2 one leftover piece out of the divisor two. So for my total answer of six and a half. And I'll indicate this by hopping to six and a half. Okay? Now along the bottom, I need you to solve this without a number line. Just do straight division to show it. Fourteen divided by three. Now, how many 3's can go into 14? Well, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, too much. So 4 3's and 12, put that in your head and count to 14. 12, 13, 14. Two more out of the thirds. 4 and 2 thirds. How about 17 divided by 4 on B? 17 divided by 4. 4 goes into 17 4 times with 1 left over, and the denominator stays the same. D, 6 goes into 28 4 times, which makes 24, and 4 more would make 28 out of the 6. On E, 7 goes into 23 3 times, making 21. 22, 23, 2 more out of the 7 would make 2 sevenths. All right. Continue practicing converting mixed um, improper fraction into mixed numbers and um, use this division as a shortcut and recognize now that there is lots of division symbols. Lots of different ways that you can divide. All right, if you have any more questions about turning mixed numbers into um, turning fractions into mixed numbers, then see me and I'd be glad to help. Thanks.